Hi there and welcome to the British Shooting Show. I'm here with Stuart and uh, well this is one of the stars of the show really, the, uh, the new Alpex 4K. 4K upgraded sensor. LRF. Got the LRF and a ballistic calculator on there. And what's the best bit? The price. Yeah. 850 quid which is amazing really so uh, I'll shut up and let Stuart run us through it. I'll just take you through yeah so it's a completely redesigned chassis mm -hmm. so the original Alpex was was known for its uh, night vision and low light performance, especially yeah. just in that that final hour. So what we've done is upgraded the sensor in this. So you've now got a um, 4K high resolution image. You haven't lost any of that low light performance. So right. this will give you a great full color image during the day. It will then carry on working with a full color image until it's absolutely dark. Right. And then you can add your IR torch and that's going to keep you shooting right into the dark. And the recording, is that 4K or is it? Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah, 4K yeah. as well. And it's, um, right. and it's got recoil activated recording. Um, but yeah, I mentioned we've, um, we've also redesigned the chassis. Mm. So one of the big things people commented on in the previous generation of Alpax was the backup battery. Right. So that's moved from being a CR123A uh, to an 18650. Which, yeah. We've got the two internal batteries still. Yeah. They're charged up on this USB port on this side. Mm -hmm. um, but that's giving you 12 hours of runtime for yeah. the internal batteries. This is just for an emergency. So, it but has to be quite a long emergency. Well, I don't know exactly. I mean, how long are you going to be in the field for? But yeah, it's potentially. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's, it's one of those. Well, nobody likes CR123s, really, do they? No. And I'm not a fan. It's one of the psychological problems with an internal battery is if you forget to charge it or it does run out. Yeah you're stuck which in the field. everybody does. Which, which does happen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, we've also, we've got a completely redesigned chassis. So, new buttons on the top here, uh, easier to use in the dark, you know, a subtle upgrade. Yeah. Um, no, it is though, because until you're out in the dark, fine here, but when you're out at night, no yeah. moon, it's yeah. kind of like, what's where? Where, yeah, where's, yeah, yeah, you end up switching it off instead of, um, yeah. But for something with LRF built in, 850s. No, I know, it's incredible. It's an amazing price, um, really. We've also redesigned the uh, jog dial. Yep. So uh, the feedback from the previous generation of Alpex, where the whole turret moved, mm -hmm. it was easy to knock that by mistake. You might open the menu. Yep. Um, this has a recess button on the top. So you just activate so, it. Yeah, you can't accidentally activate it. Um, we've got the laser rangefinder built in here. Mm -hmm. So that links to the ballistic calculator inside the scope. So right. once you've got your um, uh, ammunition and uh, caliber stored, um, you just activate the laser rangefinder, mm. it marks on the reticle where your holdover point is, takes the guesswork out of shooting right. in the dark. Well, I was speaking to uh, Mark Ripley earlier, and he's got one on test. Yep. And he said he took uh, a Fox at, I think, 320, so the first time. Yeah. It does work. It so works, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, impressive. Yeah. And uh, there'll be a full review in the next instalment of Rifle Shooter. Another star of the show, the Habrock. Binos, thermal, daytime, optical, optical, night nighttime, laser rangefinder. Yeah, <laughs> multispectral is the uh, the in phrase I think, but it's one of the stars of the show. And uh, as you can see, wow, keep, <laughs> keeping this, keeping yeah. this man <laughs> happy. But we'll let the expert here, Stuart, give us the uh, the sort of rundown Thank on the you. various features and uh, what yeah. looks to be one of the. Uh, Hot products of uh, 2024. The stars of the show, yeah. So we just launched these uh, a few weeks ago. Um, it's definitely one of the stars of the show. Um, so built on a compact uh, binocular chassis, so it's instantly recognisable to anyone who's using a, a standard set of binoculars. Um, we've got two lenses on the front. Uh, one is for thermal and one is for optical. So in the daytime, that's giving you a bright, vibrant, full colour image. Um, and we can then use the uh, built in IR at night to give you a night vision binocular. So the idea with these is you can detect with the thermal and then switch quickly into the optical mode. Mm. So you're then getting that um, identification, you can locate it. So if you're looking at an animal that's hidden in the in trees or whatever, mm. it's really easy to pick out exactly where it is to get your rifle onto it. Well, having the IR incorporated into the actual Body of the, that's that's a good thing. It is, yeah. Because most of them, it's a third, you know, it's external yeah, mounted torch clamp it or it clamped under or whatever. Bulky, yeah. um, and what sort of range are you, are you looking at with it in the IR mode? You yeah, a couple hundred meters. It's, right. It's not the highest performance IR. No, uh, but, but shooting distance. Yeah, shooting distances. Yeah. 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 Um, but you've got a thousand meter 
laser rangefinder built into here as well. So yeah. this really is a powerful, um, a powerful unit. Gives a lot of flexibility. Um, so you know, for deer stalking, we're also selling loads of these into like the nature observation market. Right. And what we want to aim to do is replace the need to have a thermal monocular and binoculars yeah, so, yeah. build all into one product. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's. There's a lot of excitement about it. Uh, Mike Powell, who's one of my regular contributors and has been writing for forever, probably one of the most experienced uh, riflemen in the country, but he, he certainly is probably the most experienced. He has upgraded to the Habrock. Um, he had accolades for a long time and, and loved them, and he's upgraded to that and he's very, very happy with it. Yeah, so, and, that's, and again, it's a, it's a really well-priced product as well. Yeah. What's the RRP on that then? So this one is available at £2,800. Right. Um, and we do a 384, which is £2,200. Right. So a lot of functionality. And we're looking to introduce uh, another sensor down, which might be a, a, a lower further. resolution sensor again, which will be yeah. more affordable again. So um, yeah, so much functionality, so much uh, no. flexibility built into one product. I mean, this is one of the products I'm really looking forward to trying. Um, there's going to be a full review in the next issue of Rifle Shooter, and it may also appear in Sporting Gun because there's a good amount of crossover. crossover yeah, Anybody who hunts yeah. really would be interested in this. Yeah. So um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. It'll be uh, on the shelf soon.